I grew up in the middle of nowhere, so cars were natural in my childhood, so started driving on the ice when I was like six and seven years old. Of course, the cars were much, much less complicated back then, but the actual driving hasn't changed. It's all about finding the grip, reading the surface, and finding that sweet spot when you, when you balance the car. different skills required for, for different surfaces and circuit driving, rally driving, ice driving. But I think that if you're a good driver, you can drive on any, uh, any surface and you should be fast. I'm Kenny Brack, development driver for McLaren. We're here in Ivalo, Finland. It's minus 14 outside, a lot of snow and ice, and we're here to have some fun. The most important for me is to determine the entry speed to a corner. The surface is constantly changing. It could be ice, it could be snow, and the next quarter it could be something, you know, different. And after that, you just use your brakes, your steering, and throttle to control the car. The 570 is actually a lot of fun to drive on the snow and ice, because it's quite a light car, and it's, it's got a great balance with this type of driving, so uh, I enjoy it a lot. Driving on ice is, is one thing you need, and that's grip. So one way to increase friction is to go with a friction tire. The next level up is to go with studded tires, and that's necessary in these conditions. Today's cars are, are well built, you know. They're built to withstand both extreme heat and extreme cold. I think ice driving is, is a great way to learn to drive a car. You can drive on the limit and you can make all your mistakes and you dig yourself out of the snowbank and you continue, you know. It's a great experience and you really get that uh, drifting feel into your seat of your pants. It's, uh, for me, it's been very valuable in my racing career. The Swedish drivers are much faster than the Finnish drivers. <laughs> <laughs>